Hey, come on in here. Hey, I, I got something I want to cover with you today. I'll talk about these quick couplers. Pressure washer quick couplers. And how, how they're serviced. There's some information out there, guys, that I don't quite agree with. I'm going to bring it up with you today. Maybe steer you in the right direction. Come on in here and take a look. I, I want to take a minute. Let's cover servicing these quick couplers. And uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot to them, but uh, let's go over the correct way. Uh, maybe it ain't even the correct way. Let's, let me just show you what, what I do here. Uh, let's go over some issues that we have with the plug in. When this fitting is under pressure and the coupler side has those, you see those balls in there and down in the bottom, there is a seal. Keep that in mind when we're going forward. But under pressure, as this plug is inside this socket, there's pressure. And as that pressure over time, and maybe you don't remove this coupler all the time, eventually you create a ridge around this edge right here, focus you rascal dog on your hide. Right around this area right here, it'll create a, a, a ridge. And that'll cause the balls won't be able to retract far enough to clear it. it it'll hang up. Something always hangs up in there. We'll move over here to this socket side of it. I showed you we have a, an O-ring down in here. A lot of times you'll have leakage here. Nine times out of ten, that, that's usually your culprit. I definitely keep some some extra O-rings, three eighths for the for the uh, for your hose connection in most cases, and uh, quarter inch at the nozzle end. But to replace that O-ring is quite simple. I, I keep you a, a hook on the truck. I know you already got one. You probably this is pretty basic for you, but you just hook that old one, pull it out. You take your new one. Stick him down in there, and we don't want to booger him up. And then just simply with the blunt side, don't be digging in it with your, with your sharp instrument. Go around it and poke him back down in there. Now, now you've got a new seal. That, that should correct your leak issue. We've addressed replacing the O-ring inside the coupler. A lot... And a lot of times there's a lot of grit and grime and, and built up between the collar and this area. It's always a good idea to take some air when you're servicing those up. Get that stuff out of there. And then what do we want to do? Oh my gosh, this is the whole point that I'm mad about. Look, you can find this information repeated incorrectly. Let me see. Here, take a look, son. Here's my gripe. I find this information <laughs> all over YouTube. And of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I got mine. Y'all wrong, and you're wrong for telling people to do this. Period. Educate yourself on what that product is. Do not spray these couplers with this WD-40. You'll see that information floating around out there. Turn it off, move on, son. You need to go do another search at that point, Jack Rabbit, because this product ain't gonna make it happen. Here's why. So after seeing that information more than one time this week, I, I decided I'm gonna straighten this out. I, I sprayed this O-ring down last night with uh, some good old WD-40. It's good for a lot of things. This ain't one of them. This is how much this O-ring swelled since last night. What this is gonna do, you put, you install this inside your socket, spray it with the WD-40, couple your sockets together, give it a little time, let it dwell. Good luck ever getting that back apart. You will get it, but you are gonna fight the devil and get to get there, son. So, What's my answer to lubri lubricating a socket, conditioning that O-ring? And by the way, these O-rings happen to be that 
EDMP. I believe that's, I, I get those letters mixed up and I know I ain't the only one. But the answer to lubricating those O-rings is simply this. Silicone spray. Nothing other than silicone. That will do more than the WD-40. First of all, WD-40 is going to swell this O-ring. Silicone spray is not going to. It is going to condition that O-ring, make it a little more pliable, make it last a little longer. This is also great to uh, clean your windshield wiper blades with. Hey, I know when you're starting out cleaning and, and, and using this equipment, some of this stuff is new to you. So some of you guys who've been doing it a while, you already knew everything I already covered. New guys, don't get bit. Just, just don't do it. This can cause you a headache all day long. Well guys, I, I, th that's just a quick brief this morning. I got a whole lot of other stuff to do and we'll check back with you later. Have a great week. See ya.